Guys, I love PC setups. It's one of my hobbies, it's one of my passions, so I'm always looking to make sure mine looks better, and I'm also rating other people's to see what they can do better. I'm always learning about things that I can be doing better on my setup, things I can improve on, and you know, kind of work towards. We're gonna take a look at some other people's setups, we're gonna look at them, we're gonna rate them together, and hopefully, maybe your setup might be in here. You just hop over to this Discord, and you know, you might be in there. Now, without any further ado, let's check out the first setup. All right, boys, so this is the first setup we're gonna look at. It's Samtic's setup right here. He has this pretty cool thing going on right here with the mouse pad, keyboard, the double monitors here. One thing is that I don't really know is like, why is the pc like diagonal like you have so much space over here that you could be putting these monitors i don't know why the pc is like taking up more than like one third of this desk not only that you have like the white peg on the desk which kind of throws it off a little bit but i mean if you're not really looking at that it doesn't really matter i mess with the backgrounds that's pretty fire and the quadcast i don't even know where it's hanging from but that's pretty fire too i mess with that i'm just hoping your head can reach that dude because like that seems like a little high so maybe you can, you can probably pull it down but honestly it's a pretty chill setup i like the backlight in the back kind of wish there was more led like in the actual room itself i know I, it's kind of like a cringe gamer thing i mean i really do like this the keyboard it kind of looks like an apex that's definitely an apex pro tkl we got the corsair mouse pad which i think you could probably probably get a, st a steel series mouse pad you know to get the black and just make it look fire but yeah overall it's pretty clean it's definitely nice i would just recommend to make sure we're turning the pc on its actual turn it vertically so you have more space maybe consider moving the monitors more to the middle because i feel like your neck might kind of hurt but yeah honestly sam I, got, I like your setup and i think you have a little room for improvement but it's, it's a it's a great starter next we're gonna look at speedo setup right here he has just like super bright red going on and honestly the room seems like such a kind of like a cozy vibe yeah honestly it's fire i mess with the chair here the desk is pretty cool and you have a nice keyboard here as well kind of difficult because everything is super bright but i mean this japanese poster right here is fire my brother literally has the same exact one in his room and yeah i think it's like a kind of a great chill setup i feel like you could have some friends over here and you guys could take turn playing the games and it kind of just it just reminds me of like a cozy saturday night even with all the brightness i think whatever the cable business is going on here could be fixed of course i would recommend a second monitor you know everyone needs me everyone needs them a little second monitor you know but yeah i think this is kind of a chill setup make sure you take care of some of these cables maybe consider get grabbing a second monitor but i think everything looks so nice and it seems super cozy so yeah great setup speedo here we have wsf blazes gaming setup and honestly it's nice kind of like a nice chill console setup i feel like a lot of us had a setup like this going off like probably like two two three four years ago i feel like all of us kind of this was like a precursor to our actual setups if we ever decided to upgrade them but yeah i mean we have the keyboard and mouse here because i mean but i respect it for aesthetic purposes because i think xbox on the desk with keyboard and mouse and a monitor looks a lot more fire than kind of just the console uh, with the monitor on the desk but yeah i think if you had like a tiny bit more personalization here you have the hats in the basketball which i really like but i think more so on the desk you have the controller here you have the plants here you have the headphones here and it's kind of like a it seems a little crammed oh i'm not gonna God. lie here it seems a tiny tiny bit crammed because you have the bed and then the actual desk like right up in there so i'm glad it was able to fit but honestly if you could uh get maybe a little little more personalization uh kind of clean up this cable in the back but that's just me nitpicking hop on a little 2k a little madden a little minecraft you know what i'm saying whatever you want to play and i think it's a it's a nice little console setup it's probably i, I give it like a, a little a little slight six out of ten yeah so the next setup we're gonna be looking at is this man named zaris he has this fire fire blue setup going on here he has the pink monitor background is I'm, I'm loving it man i'm loving it um he has the zen sticker you know what i'm saying no free pro no free promos and all that but i mean you know what i'm saying zen is a great clan honestly if you see if you're watching this zen hey your boy here free agent i can make some gaming content if you need me to i can do setups you know what i'm saying we're on the rise we're up here let's just say look into your boy 50s i think zen 50s has a nice little sound to it well, I'm, I'm gonna just say that now zen 50s that sounds that sounds like kind of nice um <clears throat> anyway it's like i was saying looking back at the setup i really do like the dual monitors here i think if you were actually to switch those two monitors so if you were to put the main monitor on the right side and then the uh secondary monitor on the left side it'd look a lot better it almost looks uneven because this monitor isn't matching up with the pc if you kind of make it apparent that these two should be switched then i think that's a better option i really do like the keyboard it matches well i think if you were to get a whole a whole like actual like a full desk size mouse pad at black i think that might look a lot better because it's going to help match with your chair and match with your pc case so i think that would look pretty far but yeah i really love the flow of the room the white desk is honestly pretty clean and it goes well because you kind of have that bright blue theme going on here you even got is that an xbox bro you got a whole xbox in your room right out of the monitor that's crazy I respect the consoles honestly i like the posters up here you got enough personalization for me to call it a w setup and so yeah honestly i approve of it great setup bro uh thank you zen sorry here we got da1's gaming setup and honestly he got this little fire kind of like rgb i kind of evolved out of like the, the like the whole rainbow rgb but i know that a lot of people are still in it and look at that pc boys just look at that that thing is a beast dude that is a honker of a pc let's try it that's probably that's probably like a 3070 is like looking at it he has definitely he has at least at least 32 gigabytes if not 64 gigabytes right there he has of course 
the water cooled CPU. He has so many fans. It's like this is like every kid's. This is like every 12 year old kid's dream PC. So that's I think you get some extra bonus points right there. And honestly, he just got RGB everywhere. I, I don't even know what's going on here. He's got blue over here. He's got green down here. He's got RGB in the PC. I'm just like, dude. But I think if you were kind of get to get a matching color, I think that'd be a lot better. Your actual equipment is crazy, dude. Like this mouse keyboard and especially that PC, dude. Those stuff, that stuff is actually crazy. Also, these speakers up here look pretty fire. They look like they're like futuristic. They look like astronaut speakers. They're like pretty fire. I need to give me some of those. One thing I would definitely recommend is flipping this monitor vertically and then putting it across and then mounting them both. Having both of the stands here, I mean, this one's kind of going on to the mouse pad. It's kind of veering into there a little bit. But I think if you were to kind of switch those two up, you know, put that thing vertically. Um, and then you know combine them a little more because I mean that gap right there that come on man Come on. We're better than 50s gang is better than this man We cannot have gaps and gaps in our monitors though Why would we have gaps in our monitors because then our cursor is gonna be jumping from Narnia to Narnia This can't be happening. But yeah, I kind of mess with it. You have great equipment I'm sure this is the 144 Hertz monitor and this one is a huge monitor. It's probably like what is that like 30 not maybe not 32 inches Now nah, that's probably 32 inches. That's that's a fat monitor right there. That's a big one so yeah, honestly, pretty sweet setup. I think you have some room for improvement, but it was a it's a great showcase. Thank you. Next up, we have Glitch Hunter's secondary setup. This literally is not even his first setup. It's kind of like his secondary. I think, I believe he uses it for video editing and other things. Normally, I would say that all this stuff is kind of cluttered, but I think because of the decoration, it makes it look good. I even had the same exact shelving unit for like a long time. I had that for like five years, bro. That's kind of crazy. But everything kind of flows well. I mean, like he keeps this color consistent and I think the white, I think, I think this desk is fire because it matches the cabinet with things inside of it i think the wood color just makes it look so good because they're the same right here you know they're just going to match so well and then you have the 3d panels which kind of go off the desk too so it kind of creates this real good blend of colors and allows like a blank canvas for this you know light blue pinkish purple color to kind of come through the salt rock lamp also is pretty fire and then of course magic the gathering dude a lot of people don't even know about magic the gathering my uncle put me on that game dude and i've been addicted since i honestly need to start playing more because it's so good that game is fire y'all should not no free spot no sponsorships or none of that but like honestly it's a fire game it's a cool franchise the card game is awesome i think that that literally matches your setup your peripherals match your setup i think even though you don't have like even a, not even a second monitor but it's not even mounted i think you did such a good job with keeping the colors consistent and making sure that everything flows better um and kind of keeping this purple pinkish vibe bluish vibe across even literally even on the mouse pad and then even when things weren't pinkish or blue you kind of had them stand out in their own way like the salt rock lamp and then how also the desk is not you know it's not white or black so it's not like a blank canvas but it's matching something else which just matches overall one thing i definitely would recommend is i'm kind of nitpicking here but these cables right here if you can clean these up a little bit and then also if you were to put some 3d panels on this section of the wall i think that would look a lot a lot a lot cleaner um, and other than that, I mean, there's no point to, you know, hide these cables because they're just going to be there no matter what. Maybe hide this little cable a little bit. And then um, other than that, second monitor if you had the money, dog. But it's a second setup, so really, who really cares? So, yeah, Glitch Hunter's second setup. All right, y'all. Now we're going to move on to Mr. Doctor setup. And, brother, what kind of calculus AP class exams are you taking for this to be your desk? Like, like brother you got a book another book another book another book papers more papers you got ram sitting on your desk for some reason you, i didn't even notice this monitor is huge dude you got a whole ultra wide monitor over here and then you got more papers dude what is this desk what do you like wh wh why do you need to be this messy you have the two controllers here so you probably play a lot of console games like persona and why are you rocking an ultra wide monitor for your only monitor actually you're, go you're gonna have the most insane fov ever you're gonna see everyone you can see like straight left and right. You can see like peak human vision. I don't even know. Like you do have it mounted. So I'm going to give you a little bonus for that because it looks a lot cleaner mounted um, instead of just having this stupid fat stand on top of the desk. But bro, I mean, you probably, you're probably so studious, man. You know, Mr. Doctor, you probably do a bunch of work. You probably get all A's. So I respect the grind, but man, clean up this dang setup, dude. And there's even cables down here. So clean it up a little bit, add a little personalization and you're good. And also, does someone know what this is? I think it might be a webcam, but... You got it. I ain't gonna lie, man. This gotta go. Um, but other than that, you know, you got you got some you got some work to do. So yeah. Now we're gonna peek at Mr. Cribs gaming setup right here. If you were to add red RGB strips at the top, maybe some people I know are not allowed to have RGB in their room. Um, but I think RGB lamps work. RGB, you know, other sunset lamps on TikTok. I see. Um, you can have you know star projectors, things like that, can make it a lot cleaner. I can't really see under the desk, so I couldn't tell you if the setups like cable management is any good or not. Maybe that was his tactic. Maybe he didn't want me to see the cables. Uh, but. 
in all seriousness, honestly, it's a nice setup. I would just recommend the second monitor, add a little personalization up here because I do like, I do kind of like the minimalist though. I can see what you're going with it because nothing's too wild. There's nothing really standing out, kind of just keeping it mellow. So I mess with that, honestly. I do even, even the PC matches the red vibe. So I think with the mouse pad, how he keeps this color all the same. I think that's awesome. Also, I see that Eero router in the back, which is W internet. I literally use the exact same, but the background pretty much does match with this little red tail here. And overall, it's kind of a W setup, bro. It's definitely somewhere that I'd like to be and, and kind of like to chill in. So thank you. All right, you guys, the last pet that we're going to take a peek at is Romer's setup right here. He kind of has this little blue something, something going on. He's playing Madden, though, which is W. I ain't gonna lie, dude. The first thing I saw was all these cables back here. We got to get that sorted out. You know, it's 2023. We can't be having those dusty, crusty cables all over the desk. He has the Blue Yeti Snowball, which is a very great budget mic. You know, no free promos, none of that. But he has a carbon fiber desk, which is low-key fire, bro. I don't think I've ever seen anyone have that before, but I mess with that. Um, And I think this probably is a console setup, considering how it's all set up. Yep, it is a console setup. You know what I'm saying? We got the PS5, which is good. You just got to take care of these cables, bro. And you got to get a new desk. This thing is freaking tiny, dude. You're probably sitting on that thing all cramped up. You need to get you a bigger desk for a big old monitor so you can put everything on there. Like, that thing is at an angle, brother. But yeah, make sure we're get, trying to get a bigger desk. Let's, let's take care of these cables too add some personalization things on the wall uh, i think that that should be the first step for everybody is cable management and then after cable management is going to be making sure the desk is kind of clean just make sure everything is nice and then we're going to go personalization and then we're going to go actual uh, minor upgrades things like you know mounting your monitors things like adding posters on the wall you know other stuff that's kind of making sure your stuff's going to look clean but yeah roamer honestly you have a nice little console setup i'm probably gonna give it like a 3.5 out of 10 Four out of, I'll, give you, I'll give you four out of ten because you know he has nice equipment i'm not gonna lie he had literally has two keyboards on there for some reason i don't know what what you do with two keyboards when you have a console dog so i'll give you I'll, I'll give you five out of ten because you have nice nice equipment you have a ps5 you have a big nice monitor probably a 144 hertz and i can tell your chair is nice so i'll give you five out of ten but you just need to take care of this stuff um and yeah that should be your first step all right, y'all, so that was rating my subscriber setup. So I really hope you enjoy. And if your setup was in this video, make sure to leave a comment drop below. That was my setup at whatever time frame it was. And let me know. I plan to do some more videos like this in the future. And I'm trying to keep going with my weekly videos, but I'm kind of struggling. So if you guys don't see me, just know I'm really trying. I will get these videos out. Just kind of wait for me. And yeah, y'all, I should see you guys next week. And that's all I got. So see you in the next one. Peace.